All right, so the NWSL is planning to start some sort of season. It is called the Fall Series. Um, I'm guessing it's just something to, to have uh, for the season, but it's really exciting just because of the fact that they did have so much success from the Challenge Cup, uh, which, by the way, the Houston Dash won. Um, so it's going to be really interesting how they do this. I'll explain to you guys how they're going to start this, this season. Um, and also some, some storylines for the Houston Dash as well. And kind of give you guys my expectations as well. So if you guys love sports but only Houston, make sure you guys subscribe to Saw Sports. Click on that notification bell so you'll be notified when we drop videos just like this. And of course when we do our live streams from Monday to Friday around 6 p.m to 7 p.m. So somewhere around there, we're gonna give you guys a live stream. So there's that. If you guys want a deeper discussion with guys like Ed Honcho, Wink, the guys from the round table, and myself, make sure you guys join the Patreon or become a member of this YouTube uh, channel. I don't know how to really phrase it to, to be honest with you, but if you guys sign up for that $5 tier on, on Patreon or if you sign up for the Super Saucy tier, you will get put into our Discord where you can talk with us and other members of the discord now also with the youtube membership you're gonna get you know like the custom emojis you get the the little the little emblem on the side of your username when you end up going to the comments or even in the chat and the live stream chats as well so you'll be everyone will know that you're a member of of the youtube channel so if you guys want that those are your two options so you guys can join that discord but without further ado let's get going with this video Alright, so the NWSL has announced that they will be doing a fall series, basically their way of starting a, an NWSL season. Um, it's going to start September 5th, so obviously, um, you know, it's already going to be starting as it goes, but the Dash will not be playing till September 11th. That will be their first game. But uh, essentially the plan is with this fall series is it's going to be 18 games over a span of seven weeks. So it, it's going to be, I feel like it's going to be not, it's going to be spaced out obviously, but I think obviously once we go deeper and deeper into this, um, the scheduling, you'll see how, you know, how this thing is going to be worked out. But they already announced the first games, which will be group matches. They have separated all nine teams into three groups of three obviously and they will be playing against each other now the way they set up the groups is based off of where they're located and i'll, I'll let you know who's in the group for the houston dash but uh it's going to be really interesting to see how this turns out um i guess kind of similar to what the mls has done with their with their phases this is kind of what the nwsl is doing as well so it's going to be really interesting to see how this works out um obviously it's great to have you know more nwsl action but of course you know we got to go ahead and talk about where the dash are in all right so the houston dash will be in the south pod i mean that makes sense because you know the dash are in the south and in their group they have the north carolina courage which um, obviously is a team that I've noted uh, previous times which is last year's M NWSL Cup champions and the Orlando Pride a team that did not play in the Challenge Cup because of the fact that they had a lot of a lot of people in their staff and players that tested positive for COVID-19 so they were unable to participate in the tournament but everything's good they're now going to be playing in this fall series so that is going to be the two teams that are in the group they will be playing four games obviously for this first part of the fall series so their first game is going to be September 11 at the at North Carolina take on the courage that game will be on twitch as well as their next game September 26 against Orlando pride that will be a home game and then Sunday October 4th will be uh, another game against North Carolina courage which will also be on twitch and then the final game of this portion of the series is going to be at Orlando and that will be at CBS Sports Network so those are the games. So the games that they're, they'll feature all these games either through Twitch, CBS, or CBS Sports Network. That's going to be kind of where they're going to be going with this um, as far as their matches. Um, but kind of to take from that, man, obviously this is uh, 
a very interesting group to see what they're gonna do. Obviously, I don't think that this is gonna like if they don't win this group, they're gonna they they don't continue on. Obviously, I think it's just making sure that like hey, you're gonna play these games, but try to eventually set it up so that everybody plays everybody at some point. Um, but obviously, North Carolina Courage. I've said it before; they're one of the better teams in the NWSL. So this is gonna be an interesting matchup because the Dash did not play North Carolina at all in the Challenge Cup. And then the Orlando Pride, a team that no one got to see because of the fact that they were unable to participate in Challenge Cup. So there's going to be a lot of questions. They got a lot of film on the Houston Dash, but obviously the Dash don't have much film on Orlando Pride except for what they had from last year. And North, Carolina's, uh, North Carolina obviously is from what you've seen in the Challenge Cup. So it's going to be interesting to see how the Dash fare against one of the better teams in the NWSL. And of course a team that, you know, you really just don't have much on. So it's going to be really interesting to see how that works out. So with me, I'm actually very optimistic with the Houston Dash. Now there is one thing to mention and that is that Rachel Daly will not be playing with the Houston Dash as she is now on loan to West Ham United and will not be returning until December. Um, so... That is a big loss. Obviously, that's your captain. That's your main one of your main contributors. But you did also re-sign Jane Campbell. You also re-signed Christy Muez, and you re-signed re uh, Shea Groom. So you still have a group of players. I still think, obviously, a lot of people do speak highly of this chemistry that the Houston Dash have. So that could also be a big, big factor that they maybe they feel comfortable to let Rachel Daly go back to her home in England. You know, maybe she, you know, she's a little homesick or something like that. Give her time to go back to England, play. So still, still gonna stay in shape because she's gonna be there playing with West Ham. But at the same time, I think they wouldn't make they wouldn't be able to do this decision if they did not feel confident that this team can step up while she's gone and and i honestly kind of with the, i'm with them with that as well i think obviously with shea groom and christy Mew is in the midfield it's going to build up opportunities and i think that you you have something with this team so hopefully we can see how strong this team how this team looks without rachel daly and hopefully it's a good thing but then also then we'll also know if they're not performing well how big rachel daly is to this team so there's going to be that but that also means that Jane Campbell will be taking over as captain for the team for the rest of this fall series as she is the co-captain for the Houston Dash. So it's just going to be really interesting to see. But my expectations, honestly, is, um, I mean, North Carolina Courage is going to be a tough one. But I think the fact that they do have a really good defense here at the Houston Dash could keep them in this conversation for a good while in this game. So it's just about them creating that opportunity and take advantage of North Carolina when they have their that chance. Orlando Pride is going to be a very interesting matchup because the fact is that nobody knows how this team looks. So this will be the first time anybody gets to see anything from Orlando Pride. So you'll have to study hard when Orlando Pride plays, hopefully before the Dash play them to really see what Orlando's all about so you have an idea to go into the next game with them. But aside from that, man, I think that they're going to have a pretty decent tournament. I mean, hopefully they can re you know, showcase why they won the Challenge Cup and help that they hope that this chemistry can keep this team going throughout this fall series. All right, man, so that is basically me just talking about the NWSL Fall Series. Um, the first game will be September 11th for the Houston Dash, which will be on Twitch at 6 p.m. So make sure you guys are, you know, aware when that comes up. But uh, I'm excited, man, just to have some Houston Dash soccer back in here. Um, watching their tournament was really fun. Um, you know, we actually we actually had the Discord going for, for that game. And I think hopefully we converted some guys to some soccer while we were doing it. But, you know, I, I, I think it's really cool that the Dash is here. I mean, it sucks that we'll be without Rachel Daly. But, I mean, once again, next player up mentality has to come into play. And I think with the nucleus that this team has, the chemistry that this team has, I think that they'll be able to at least you know man the fort while rachel daly is in england so that's all i really got man so please make sure you guys like this video go into the comments tell me what you guys think about the houston dash and the nwsl are you excited for them to come back the that there is going to be an nwsl season all those things man put in the comment section let me know also man subscribe to saw sports if you have not click on that notification bell so you'll be notified when we drop videos just like this and of course when we do our live streams from monday to friday between the times of 6 p.m and 7 p.m central time so um and yeah of course if you guys want to be part of a deeper discussion maybe also 
partake in some some talks while we're watching the games make sure you guys join the patreon or become a member of this channel um for the patreon if you sign up for that five dollars here and if for for you for becoming a member of this youtube channel um you sign up for the super saucy tier it'll put you in our discord where you can chat with us and of course we will also be doing things on game days so make sure you guys be aware of when that's going to come up because it gets pretty fun man i guarantee it the conversations do get heated but at the end of it all we're all fans of houston sports and that's what's more important than anything else um also man we got a twitch channel um so wink has been doing his thing on mutt in from in madden um and of course you have me doing mlb the show 20 playing road to the show with a young edward honcho and um hopefully once fifa 21 comes out i'll be back i'll be doing some fifa content as well uh for sure um but yeah that's all i really got man um thanks for watching man chucking up a deuce y'all stay saucy perfect